Hello, I'm Gary Simon, and welcome to this course on SVG for Web Design. So SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, and it's becoming increasingly popular among web designers, and for good reason. Because modern browsers support SVG, it's a no-brainer to use SVG where possible because it doesn't contain the pixel-based limitation of PNGs or JPEGs. So SVGs are also exciting because they offer interactivity, and they can be controlled both from JavaScript and CSS. So here's a quick look at the projects we'll be covering in this course. So we'll come back to this in a second. So the first one, we're going to cover this right here. This uh, basically kind of like a loading animation. And this is all in SVG. And it's also responsive. All right. So this is entirely all controlled within an SVG graphic. And it's in an HTML file. And if you want to check, take a look at that source, it's very simple, as you can see. And all the information is here in the actual SVG file that we'll be working with. All right. And the second project, this one's pretty exciting because these are icons. So traditionally, we've used PNGs in the past for icons. And uh, what's really cool about these is we can add hover effects. And we can also add clicks and make custom animation with CSS animations and keyframes based on hovering and even clicking. Now, what's also really cool about these icons, let's say, for example, you've had these bigger icons and you have a lot of details. So say, for example, if you were to take these icons and scale them down at a viewport, say, for example, where they're only like 16 by 16, well, these type of details might get in the way and make it look a little bit cluttered. So what you can do is actually make these details go away based on the viewport width. So essentially, they're responsive SVG icons. So here's what that looks like. So if we scale it in, at a certain point, they will vanish right there. So as you can see, if we switch back and forth, they're here, and now they're not. And of course, you can set it up with a lot more different media queries and control them even more so than this. And what's also cool is everything still works well in terms of the hover and the custom animations. And then finally, for our final project, we'll actually work with a layout and we'll design this in Photoshop. And let me refresh this just to show you what this looks like. So this is SVG line animation that we'll do. We'll come down here and we'll work with this SVG graphic. And as you can see, as we scrolled down, the animation played until it was in the viewport view. And we'll use Adobe Edge Animate, which is software that can allow you to really easily control animation, much like Adobe Flash or After Effects. And then we'll come down here and we'll do another button. And you can see we're experimenting a little bit differently with uh, CSS animations. If you click this, we can also change it and change it back. All right, I hope you enjoy the course and learn a lot. So in the next lesson, we'll start with our first project, creating an animated loading SVG graphic. So I'll see you then.